Hi guys, today is filing day. Welcome again from around the world. We want to uh, file a, a new design, but wait, what if in your due diligence, we talked about due diligence, you have to look into the uh, design view database in order to identify very similar or identical designs and identify the threat your design may face once you get a registration. So what if you find such an identical one, uh, what can you do? Well, the first thing you can do is take up the challenge. Well, I see one, I see the threat, I will assess the threat a bit, uh, but I will still go on. But you may also choose, well, I can change a bit that design so the threat may be less important for me. But there are still different solutions you may think of. Why not take contact with the owner of that design through the lawyer, for example? You have all this identified through the database in design view, as I told you before. So you can talk to them. Perhaps they are interested only in one part of Europe and uh, you are interested in another part. So you can agree uh, that you will use your design only in that part and they, uh, they would go for the other part. Or they are not any more interested because they, uh, they, they did the design once but are not any more interested for whatever reason. They uh, moved on and you are still interested so they make an agreement with you that they will not threaten your design registration. Or perhaps uh, you can make uh, any other arrangement according to the business model one and the other has uh, so you can coexist on the market. So that would mean that you have identified in due diligence a, a sign which may threaten your uh, sign once it is registered but you will not get any invalidity proceedings because you agreed beforehand how to deal with it. So that was uh, one thing, alternative dispute resolution, you would, uh, you would uh, name this. <clears throat> but let's focus on the design filing itself. So the filing, you have identified three possibilities now, right? Remember the two layers in Europe, so there's the national layer, you can go to the national uh, office in Italy, in Spain, in Portugal, or you can go to EU IPO for a European title. So often uh, there may be also a possibility that uh, you have seen an individual sign uh, from a member state, from, I don't know, from uh, England, England, no, as a bad example, from Ireland, <laughs> England is out, from Ireland, uh, and uh, you think, well, uh, this could be a, a threat for me, so, but your main interest doesn't lie in Ireland, but it lies more in whatever, another part in France or Southern Europe or whatever, so you may go, well, this is a big threat, and I don't want to, uh, you, uh, to lose a filing date, then I would go rather to my uh, focus market, which is Southern Europe, to uh, Italy, Spain, Portugal, and Greece, and uh, make a second EU IPO filing for the whole Europe. So even if the, oh, uh, the EU IPO filing, the registered, uh, registered design, the RCD, is taken down through invalidity proceedings by the Irish guy, then you would still maintain the individual uh, uh, registrations in Southern Europe. So you could protect uh, still your market. So these are some uh, strategic uh, considerations which you should take into mind. And you have, so national, European, and you have the uh, international uh, registration, which is again managed by the e, by the WIPO in Geneva, and uh, you, if you want, for example, if you want Switzerland and UK inside your market and the whole UIPO, so uh, the EU, so then it would be a possibility to file an international 
uh, de design uh, protection through the Hague Agreement in Geneva. So these are the three layers. I will focus today only on the EU IPO, so on the Title I, Title IV, 27 member states. So internet, uh, that is the first thing uh, you should know. It is very easy to do everything through the internet. So this is uh, one thing you can do internet. This takes you a quarter of an hour, perhaps. Uh, why should you pay a lawyer 1,000 euros for uh, this quarter of an hour? Uh, you can do it yourself. And once you get it, you will get satisfaction to have it done and to have saved you a bunch of money. You need for the minimum requirements, for, so, so to say for an easy, uh, easy uh, design application, uh, you uh, need the applicant, you need the indication of the goods, I will come to that, the representation of the design, we will come to that, the payment, uh, the signature and the details of the applicant. Uh, on All of this is on a form which is available on the internet, so uh, what is uh, the deal, the tax a declaration is much more difficult than that. Uh, I don't know whether you do it or not, but uh, this is an easy task you can do by yourself. So there's a, a fast track, which is a possibility uh, in EU IPO if you have them uh, in unproblematic one, but uh, I will not go into detail with that. Uh, even if a fast track can be in 48 hours, that is not much difference with regard to one a week which it will take the normal one so um, uh, let's not complicate things uh, unnecessarily so you have a a, a application which is uh, which is done and you want to uh, look into into the different uh, particularities which represent the european design system so representation is the first one Representation, please be aware that the representation uh, you can do different angles for your design uh, in, the, in, in different representations, up to seven. Seven representations in total that may change with the reform, but this is the case so far. And you take uh, the uh, representation of your design from, uh, from different uh, perspectives in order to uh, give the examiner a clear view on what is protected and to have a future protection uh, well uh, well documented, up to seven. So if you more than seven, only up to seven will be go into the registry. Don't uh, use a background or uh, distractions of any kind or other objects on the representation. Only focus on what it is. If uh, you want a disclaimer from one things of the of the uh, design please do it uh, through the dotted line or blurred or, or whatever in order to indicate this is not but be consistent with it so what you cannot do is one is color and the other is not color although it is uh, part of the of the uh, of the same angle so it must be consider the seven angles uh, from which the uh, representations are done, uh, they must be consistent with one design only, right? Okay, this is the representation. So uh, the amount to be paid is 350 euros. Is that expensive for you? I think it is not so much expensive for 500 million consumers, uh, which are subject to uh, receive your product. But if it is expensive, then you have the possibility to do multiple uh, design applications at the same time and you get a reduction for it. In fact, many do this. I told you uh, there are some 100,000 applications uh, uh, a year incoming into EIPO registry. Well, uh, these are only 20 applications, but uh, by a factor of five uh, for, the, uh, for the application for each individual application. So there are five designs applied for. It comes to uh, 100,000. So these uh, normally, uh, if you have more than one design, so you get a reduction and people know this and 
uh, will get any uh, advantage for the reductions. Now, also for the payment, there is a special system uh, which is called the current account. So those who are often guests in EU IPO, uh, clients of EU IPO, uh, they would uh, have the possibility to, uh, to get registered, have an account settled on EU IPO accounts, which is still your money. And once it is due, the money is due for payment, then EIPO, without anything doing from your side, will deduct uh, the corresponding fee from your current account within the EU IPO account. So there exists on the internet some, uh, some customer, you have your own window, your own uh, uh, taskbar, uh, or your own corner, your own room, chat room, if you want. Uh, where everything which with regard to you is accessible and only to you. So you can see there if uh, somebody something has been deducted uh, from your account and so on. Uh, in fact, uh, a lot of those who currently deal with EU IPO, they use uh, this kind of uh, facility. It's a kind of win-win. You don't need to pay. You don't need um, to worry that the banks will transfer the money in due course to EU IPO, or uh, there may be, uh, um, you know, uh, the banks they they grab uh, five euros here, ten euros here, fifteen euros there, and then a less amount comes to EU IPO. Then uh, they will come back with by saying it has not been uh, credited the full amount, and you have to pay more, and so forth. so. That that mess will be uh, will be part of the past. So th this is not anymore uh, what what you need. So uh, the filing date, you know uh, already the filing date, uh, the first to file, right? That is what you, what you want. You want to be the first because the first they, the winner takes it all. The first will take it all. So uh, the uh, the exhibition priority or the, uh, the normal priority, uh, that is a, a normal priority would mean that you have already a, um, for example, a national, uh, um, uh, a national, what is it, uh, an, uh, a national application registration done so you get the filing date reported in the uh, EU IPO registration that what you uh, what you normally want to do in order to uh, be uh, have a filing date which is as early as possible so the filing date is the one uh, where you need uh, for for uh, an application for invalidity what you need is an earlier sign right earlier filing date so the earlier the filing date the better for you because the less you have to think about uh, uh, other you know, other designs. Okay, that is uh, the, uh, the, uh, the filing date, the deferment. That is another issue uh, which you should, uh, you should take into account. Uh, often it is such that you want to uh, have a look at the market. So you, you make a, a trial of the market if your design is something which is accepted by the market and swallowed up, sucked up by the market, then it's good. But uh, if uh, you are not sure, well, let us see whether the market will buy my product and then I will ask for the, uh, the uh, application for the registration of the design. Uh, then you may want a deferment. I talked about uh, this already, so uh, just uh, re recordal that you want to uh, that, that you can defer until 30 months the representation of the design, so it will not be published. Others cannot see your design, cannot copy your design because they don't see it uh, up to 30 months, but you can also uh, within this 30 months uh, to, uh, to say, well, stop the deferment, I will now go in for uh, publication. So that is uh, always possible and uh, it is being taken account. You have to pay a little bit for it. Now, <clears throat> let me see about the examination very shortly. Examination uh, is very 
brief is you know in 40 or 48 hours and with uh, so few examiners at the IPO they will not do a great deal of work they just look for uh, you know what it is the absolute grounds and if it is a design so there is uh, and if there is representation is okay or if there are background uh, distractions or so uh, but uh, they will not look into detail uh, of the uh, of the design application if we, the minimum requirement is done so that is okay for them so the uh, the bad taste uh, there is one thing uh, they look at uh, so if uh, you have something against the public order so they will they will object to it but this is very rare so and and that's it that's it already so uh, let me uh, wrap this this up for you uh, we have the uh, <clears throat> three possibilities, uh, national, uh, EU IPO directly, or EU IPO and other countries through the international, through the Hague Agreement. One thing, the goods and services, yes, uh, the, no, sorry, the goods, the goods, uh, there is something with the goods, I will report this to the next video. Uh, and uh, you can file yourself, 350 euros, make your uh, your calculation and see you in the next video uh, recall me uh, of the of the goods that is very important issue